Hello, I am Dr. Venu Gopal, consultant neurosurgeon, Manipal Hospital, Whitefield. The recovery following the head injury also varies based on the severity of the head injury. The mild injury or the concussion injury, they usually recover within within few days or within few weeks and they can resume to work. The problem comes in the moderate or the severe type of a head injury. We can see these kind of a patients, they take about anywhere from four weeks to about three months to recover. In the case of severe head injuries wherein the patient needs surgical treatment or the patient is on ventilator for many weeks together in the hospital. So these are the patients which take quite a long time to recover. So the severe head injuries or the moderate head injuries are the one which takes about three to six months for recovery to even able to take care of themselves. Then based on their assessment at the end of the three or the six months, we will be able to tell how and when they will be able to resume to the work. The treatment can be in the form of a simple treatment like medications for treating your pain, like headache, all those things to the medications which can control fits and it usually depends on the severity of the head injury. Minor clots in the brain are what we call it as the contusions or the small hematomas or what we call it as a subarachnoid hemorrhages. These are, these are a form of severe, severe head injuries but usually it would subside over a period of time and they may not have any long term effect on the patient. Okay, there are different parts of the brain what we call it as the frontal lobe, parietal lobe, temporal lobe, occipital lobes and we have two hemispheres or the two sides of the brain. Like we see the left side of the brain controls the right side of the body's function and the right side of the brain controls the left side of the body functions. So the injury or the blood clot or the hematoma, what we call, it depends on which part of the brain is affected. The seriousness of the injury or the deficits or the problems what the patient may face depends upon which side of the brain is affected. These are called silent because any injury in this part of the brain may not manifest or may not give any symptoms. Okay, so that is how when we see a CT scan or an MRI scan where we see a clot but still the patient is absolutely fine, normal and it heals over a time. This is because the injuries are involving the silent areas of the brain which is, which doesn't give any, max, any problems or which doesn't cause any deficits. Vegetative state of a patient is what we see in uh, serious head injuries that is being treated. So patient would be usually uh, a severe or a diffuse axonal injury kind of a patient who has been in the hospital for about weeks to month and uh, uh, he would have taken about one to two months to recover in the hospital. We can see that the patient when they get up immediately following a concussion injury or a trivial head injury they remember they say that I am not able to remember anything whatever has happened after the accident. So this, this memory loss can happen for a few minutes to for a few days depending upon the severity of the head injury. If it is a mild concussion injury, then there is no worry, the memory would be come back to normal. Usually what we see from the patients or from the patient uh, relatives that uh, doctor, the patient is not able to remember anything, he doesn't remember exactly what has happened, he went in a, in a bike or in a car and he suddenly, uh, we, uh, suddenly he became unconscious uh, following a bang on the head then he is not able to recollect somebody has to take him to the hospital. So is it of a serious concern? So I would like to say that this amnesia is of no serious concern and that is a normal response because of the, uh, the, the temporary damage to the brain. The, the concern becomes only when it is long standing and they tend to keep on uh, forgetting things. So this can happen in a serious form of head injuries and then you need to take a medical attention and should be on a regular follow up. What is important is you should be aware of the rehabilitation centers available to your place. So there are a lot of neuro rehabilitation centers depending upon the which part of the India we stay. In uh, South India there are good rehabilitation centers. So Manipal Hospital Whitefield is one of such kind of a uh, place wherein we have a complete neuro rehabilitation center uh, which is involving multimodality treatment. Mm -hmm.